Coach, if you could begin with an opening statement. Well, I was, I was proud of the way the guys hung in there and made plays at the end. Um, you know, we couldn't make shots in the second half, uh, but we guarded and, and we came up with some big plays. And, and I thought we bothered them. We, we turned them over. They had 11 turnovers in the second half. And I thought that was probably the difference in the game. How pleased are you with the response from the team following a tough one on Saturday afternoon? Well, you know, you never know. It's finals week. You know, it's a, it's a day game. You know, it's, it's a weird time. Um, you, you just never know how they're going to react. I mean, they've bounced back before and, and done that. So I, I was proud of them. You know, you got to deal with different things. You got to deal with success. You got to deal with failure. And you got to find a way to bounce back either way. You're strong. Unique finished with 19 points and eight rebounds. Had a big put back up to put the Terriers up to with just a couple of seconds to play down the stretch. Um, what did you see from him this afternoon? Well, he guarded. Um, he rebounds. He always rebounds. Um, but I, I thought he was locked in today. And I thought he played the way we wanted him to play. He, he was aggressive. We, we called a timeout late for him, uh, a drive. They did a good job helping. He passed the ball. And then he actually, I think that was the possession he got the rebound. So as opposed to, you know, making a poor basketball decision and charging or whatever, he passed the ball. And then he was rewarded with the offensive rebound. He, he was really up there. That was a great rebound. Chauncey comes up with a 17-point, five steals performance today had the big steal at the end of the game to seal the deal. What did you see from the point guard today? He let the game come to him more, you know, which is good. When he plays like that, we're, we're a much better team. He let the game come to him, um, and he got to, he got his two possessions that probably determined the game. The, on, the, on a free throw, he got an offensive rebound and then got a, a great steal at half court. So I think that really, you know, won the game for us. With today's win, the Terriers improved to 24 and six on their home court, dating back to the beginning of the 2017-18 season. Um, how significant is that in, in a nutshell? It's hard to do. It's hard to do, and um, you know we're proud of that. We want to keep it going, and uh, we want to protect our home court and try to be as successful here as possible. You know, it's no, just because you're playing at home, it doesn't, you know, guarantee you anything. You got to play well. A lot of those games were really close games. Got a couple of days off now before the matchup with NJIT. Um, thoughts on the Highlanders um, so far this year? Well, I haven't watched them yet. I know they're good. I know they got a great guard, and they have some other really good players. Uh, you know, they they beat us up pretty good there last year. Uh, they got us good, and we didn't play well. That was one of our worst games of the season. So I, I hope we're on notice, and we should be we should be ready to play. But they're a really good team, so nothing less than our best is going to get the job done. All right, thanks so much, Coach. Best of luck on Saturday. Thanks, Rob.